Yo, what's good guys and welcome back to a brand new Clash of Mini video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat Chapter 1, Level 4, Hail to the King, the challenges. Uh, win the battle 3 to 0, uh, pretty easy. Uh, keep 4 elixir unspent in the battle, still easy as long as you remember, and use no more than 2 rerolls, which is also fairly easy. Let me show you guys, this is the deck I'm using. Uh, the Skeleton King is actually really, really good for this. Um, and yeah, let me show you guys exactly how to do this. So once again, let's look at the challenges. Win the battle 3-0, keep 4 Elixir, and use no more than 2 rerolls. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So uh, I guess we gotta, we gotta open it first. But um, here we go. Let's go right into it. And um, here we go. So uh, the goal, obviously, you want to win the battle 3-0. So um, pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a... Uh, Let's see if we can get our, there we go. I was going to say, if we can get our magic archer. So right here, this first spot is going to be really nice because our ice wizard is going to freeze his uh, barbarian king. And my um, magic archer is going to hit his barbarian king and his spear goblin. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Sure, I'm going to take some damage on my skeleton king from a spear goblin, but uh, it's really not the end of the world. I'd rather get the value from my uh, my magic archer right there. So boom, we're going to go ahead and take them all out. Uh, super easy right there and there we go round one is done so usually i just keep the four elixir unspent until the very very last round and use no more than two rerolls so now you're going to want to stay away from using your rerolls so i'm going to go ahead and go with a uh giant skeleton right here to take the uh the what's it called hit the um spear goblin hit i'm going to go with my uh uh skeleton king on the left side to have the uh mini pekka all alone uh, and because the mini P.E.K.K.A. will be all alone, he'll be able to do more damage and take him out fast. Also, uh, the way this is set up, the skeleton or the giant skeleton is going to take damage from the uh, from the uh, spear goblin. And then the uh, barbarian king is going to be stuck in that bomb distance with the knight. So you guys can watch how this happens right here. So, boom, it's going to start. Uh, and yeah, you'll, you'll see it's pretty pretty simple and easy they're all gonna get stuck on that giant skeleton bomb go over to my skeleton king blow up they're gonna be stunned boom and that round is over bang bada bing bada boom easy 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 dub ski right there uh now we go to round three baby so now we gotta remember not to use uh we can use one reroll and we can we have to save at least four elixir so uh the same goal we're gonna go ahead uh right here and we're actually gonna go um with an upgrade on uh, you wait uh Let's go with an upgrade on the giant skeleton to do an increased stun. And then we're going to save the four elixir right there. So, boom. There we go. Use no more than uh, two rerolls. Four elixir unspent. Win 4-0. and oh. Should be fairly easy right here. Uh, same, same goal right here. The giant skeleton is going to take that damage from that uh, spear goblin while everybody else is safe. I'm going to go ahead and send uh, my miner to the back. And then, uh, boom. There, You're just going to wreck through with that... Uh, with the damage from the, uh, the magic archer. Sorry, it's so hard to name all these troops <laughs> at the same time because there's so many different names. But there we go, we beat the challenge. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications if it was, and uh, I'll see you guys next time where we beat the next level.